We wish you a merry Vlogmas. We wish you a merry Vlogmas. We wish you a merry Vlogmas and a happy new year. Yay! Oh my goodness. They found their stock of diamonds. <gasps> They're sledging on the wee boats. <laughs> Look at Mistletoe, he's on one of them. <laughs> They've set up their own snow slope to and ski. the bath. They two have been throwing snowballs at each other. <gasps> Elsa's signature, signature on the mirror. And look! There's so toilet roll up there, toilet roll there, toilet roll round the sink. You were wondering where you were. What a me. Hi everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and Vlogmas Day 22. I am so excited. I don't know about you, but only three days until the big day and I cannot wait. The girls have finished school now for two weeks and in the words of Michael Bubley, Mum and Dad can hardly wait for school to start again. I'm only kidding, I do like the school holidays. Um, and I just love this whole time of year in general. Um, my Mum and Dad are coming over tomorrow and that they'll be here um, until Christmas Day. Well, I say they'll be here, they're staying in a hotel, but they'll be with us every day. Um, and I'm just, I'm so excited about it. I think we used to take them for granted a bit because we stayed five minutes away from them and we saw them all the time. But now that we're staying so far away and we only see them every few weeks, it's just so good. We really, really enjoy the time that we have together. So I thought, what will I do for Vlogmas Day 22? Well, what better way to be excited about Christmas than a pantomime? When I was starting the rehearsals for the pantomime, I did ask if anybody would like me to put a vlog together, basically documenting the pantomime from the very beginning until the final performance, and quite a few people said yes, please. So this is going to be the day. But before we get into that, it's time for Guess a Song from Random Lyrics, fa la 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 la. And yesterday's song was one of my favourites. So here it is, Merry Christmas, everybody's having fun. It's Christmas! <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, you can tell I'm excited. And the first line of today's lyrics is... Well, it's been a year. Well, it's been a year. That's the first line of today's lyric. Right, let's get into the pantomime. Now, a little disclaimer. This is not a professional pantomime in any way, shape or form. None of the people in the show are seasoned performers, are trained in any way, shape or form. We're basically just a bunch of friends, mostly meeting through line dancing, um, quite a lot of family connections, and we just love getting together, having a laugh, and giving up our time for a bit of charity. That's basically it. Nobody has to audition. It doesn't matter if people can sing or dance or act, anything like that. It's basically, it's a community pantomime that we put on for the community to raise a wee bit of money and just have a laugh. So first of all, let's meet the cast. Right, so here we are at our first read-through rehearsal. I will introduce you to everybody. First of all, we have David. Hello. Hello, David. Who are you playing? I'm David, and I'm going to be playing the wizard in The Wizard of Oz. You certainly are. You're going to be three different wizards in The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. <laughs> Excited. Multiple roles. <laughs> and you are? Hi, I'm Samantha, and I will be playing Thin Man. The tin, tin woman. Tin gal. Yes, tin gal, absolutely. Hi, I'm Betty, and I don't know what I'm playing. <gasps> you don't know what you're playing? No. Oh, Betty, witch. you are the wicked witch of the West. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. It's because I've got enough wrinkles. Well, moving on. So much fun. <laughs> this is the, Mummy Dearest. The Dame. The Dame. Belinda. Belinda. This is Anne. This is my mummy. 
and she's the most wonderful woman in the world. And Fiona takes all her talent from me. Absolutely. <laughs> and so. then we have the kidlies. We have Hi. Brooke, what are you playing? Dodo. Dodo the dog. <laughs> and we have Nicole, and you are also a minion. Banana. Banana. <laughs> then we have Millie, who is a <laughs> minion. <laughs> We have Kai, who is the yellow back toad. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we have Abby, eating as always. And what are you? What are you going to be? You're Dorothy. We have our main woman there. I'm the narrator. Hello. And this is? Anne. And you're playing? I just told you two seconds ago, Anne. The gatekeeper? Yes! Yes! yes. Okay, so the other two ladies are back from their holidays now. So first of all, we have... Elizabeth. And who are you playing, Elizabeth? I'm playing the lion. The lion. Wow. Put him up. Put him up. <laughs> and we have... Patricia. And you're playing... I'm the scarecrow. You're the scarecrow. The one that's... Dip it. No brain. <laughs> Saying nothing. Saying nothing. <laughs> My name is Rose and I am playing a minion in the panto. Excellent. And? My name is Tom and I am playing a minion in the panto. Yay! Are you enjoying it? Yes. yes. Good. Even though we do follow the traditional storyline of the pantomime, we always like to make it a little bit different. I write the script and I don't like to be conventional and follow the usual storyline to a T. I use a bit of artistic license just to add a bit of humour. And we usually like to make it quite local to the community that we're in. So it was performed in a place called Camlin, which is a little town just outside Falkirk in Scotland. But the locals call it Kemlin. So this year our show was called The Wizard of Oz Kemlin Style. And so that it was a little bit different, we didn't have ruby slippers in our Wizard of Oz. Oh, no, we didn't. We had, wait for it. <laughs> yes, our ruby slippers were Converse. Why not? <laughs> it's 2018, don't you know? Um, and I have to apologise that any clips that I show from the actual performance are in portrait rather than landscape. It was the lady who took it didn't realise the clips were going on YouTube and that you had to do it that way around. So I do apologise for that. Anywho, another change I made was that we didn't want to follow a yellow brick road. We wanted to follow a yellow back toad. Yellow Watch this. Back roads. No, no. The yellow back toad. <laughs> Every Wizard of Oz needs a wizard, right? Well, actually, our Wizard of Oz needed three wizards. Watch this. Oh, are you the wizard? Well, I am a wizard. <laughs> so, are you the wizard? I'm the boy wizard, Harry Potter. Wait a minute. So, you are the wizard? You told me you were No, I didn't. I simply said I am who I am. Let's go back to the start of rehearsals. Now, the way it always works is we first get together, we have a read through of the script and any changes that any of the cast thinks should be made get made at that time. And it quite often does because I write a, a rough draft, but I like to get everybody's yeah. input. Some people don't find things that I thought were funny, funny. And some people think of funny things to put in here and there. And that's basically the way that we do it. I write a rough draft and then we all get together because everybody's ideas are different and it always ends up so much more fun that way. But even once we've done the read through and made all the changes that we thought we were going to make, we do still end up making a lot of changes at the last minute. Once it's up on stage, we think, oh, that would be quite good in there or, oh, that doesn't work, we better take that out. Here's an example of quite a late change that we made. Why don't you come and ask for a heart? Really? That's a great idea. And then just come in. You'll be right. Alright, let me do it then. <laughs> Why don't you come with me and ask for a heart? Really? That's a great idea. <laughs> You'll be right. And as you 
you can see, we don't take ourselves seriously. We have a right laugh with each other. Nobody ever laughs at each other, but we do have a laugh with each other. And the banter between me and my mum is really quite good because we don't take offence at anything that each other says. We've been doing this way too long for that. Another thing that does happen a lot with rehearsals, because it's just people giving up their own time, Everybody's busy, especially at this time of year, so we have a lot of rehearsals where people are missing, they're away on holiday or they've got a night out, and that can be rather challenging. For one of the segments that we did, we only had every single person there um, who was going to be in that segment twice before the real thing, so that can be challenging. And we do rely on people taking on multiple roles at rehearsals when people are off. For example... David, who played the wizard, he is just hilarious. Watch this. That's very impressive. I'll do this. But it doesn't help me. <laughs> Sorry, that's all I've got. I'd love for more. Woo! Oh! <laughs> you need to find the right wizard. Where is that? Sometimes you have visions in your head of exactly what something's going to look like and it's going to be brilliant. But actually trying to put that into practice can be rather difficult. <laughs> Watch this at the early stage of rehearsals and then how it actually worked out on the day. No, stick your face further out. That's, That's it. it. Right, next, ba ba ba. Right out, right out. Right. Next one. Ba ba ba. That's it. Next one. Really? Thank you. And they say that you should never work with children or animals. But what do you do if there's a child playing an animal? <coughs> Louder, Brooke! Ow, ow, ow! Don't do that to my dog! She played a good dog in the end. Apart from the fact that she kept peeing on all the characters. risky and a little bit funny for the adults. We like to put in things that the adults would get but the kids might not um, and during the rhymes that the narrator, aka me, uh, would say, like this for example. She's so She's all rusty and stuck. But Dorothy doesn't give a <laughs> There's obviously times when things get a little bit stressful, especially getting close to the performance. But Overall, we have a lot of fun at rehearsals. There's some serious times, but there's some really funny times as well. Watch over this. The face, over the face, do it. <laughs> over the face, over the face. <laughs> over the face. <laughs> you got a mistake. Oh, no. It's a gruffalo. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, why is there a gruffalo in The Wizard of Oz? But we did say we like to make things a little bit different. And of course, I have to put in probably the funniest bit of all because I was not expecting it. We did a little sketch and in the rehearsal, my mum was pretending to be drunk and pretending to pie me in the face. She didn't tell me that she was actually going to put cream in the bowl during the performance. Wait until you see the state of me. <laughs> What a laugh. But what would a pantomime be without a finale? I can't show you all for copyright reasons, but I'll show you a little snippet. Here we go. <laughs> There's no place like home. Yay! 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 No, 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 no. Where on earth did you get that idea? Come on, everyone. <laughs> actually 
hardly get any footage of what was going on on the stage because the person who was filming got up to dance. But we all had an absolute ball. And overall, we raised about £1,500 for next year's Winter Festival, which basically gives all the kids in the local area a free day out with lots of entertainment and fun leading up to Christmas. So that was our little pantomime snapshots. I really hope you've enjoyed this. It was a bit of an editing nightmare for me, so if the editing's not great, please forgive me. I'm still new to this. Okay, before I go, I'm going to give you the next line for Guess a song from Random Lyrics Fa la 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 And the line is I wrapped it up and sent it I wrapped it up and sent it I hope you've enjoyed Vlogmas Day 22 and that you'll join us tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 23 and I'm hoping that it's going to be a little sort of party afternoon evening with my mum and dad so we should get some footage of that. It should be fun. Okay everybody, I will see you later. Bye! We, we wish you a merry Vlogmas. We wish you a merry Vlogmas. We wish you a merry Vlogmas and a happy new year.